I made mistakes, am I to be condemned for that? Night and day, hope and jealousy fight within me. I have no respite from it. Only you have the power to free me of the tyranny of one and only rise to the other. But when you shun me, demean me, I wish to God he had struck me through the heart, be done with it. Hush now. You are not the only one fighting demons, Robbie. Do you not see? Without your love, I am lost to them. There is only futility. Despair. Have I not proved my affection a hundred times? Given you every opportunity for advancement, every chance to prove your worth? Your respect is harder to win, it seems. Respect is not the prize you think, Robbie. People have short memories. Then they are fools. And unworthy of you. Do your work well, sir, for there is none so precious to me. with Blount was a masterstroke. Such a cocktail of erudition, a dash of nihilism, a pinch of devotion. Shakespeare himself could not have matched it. <laughs> you think that I am so callous? That my words were but a cynical ploy? A sham? You know me less well than you think, Francis. <laughs> Francis Bacon is the man for your Attorney General. I tell you, you will find none better. Be warned, Robbie. If you mean to wear me down with your badgering, many have tried that trick and I have outlived them all. For the sake of both our sanities, choose another topic. I fear the next might please you even less. My mother asks that you receive her back in court. Her exile is my punishment too. My badgering is but a whimper compared to hers. She gives me no peace on it. She claims that your beauty robbed her of her husband's love and now you seek to do the same with her son. Do you not see how I am caught in the enmity between you? Beyond the trees. Shall we? It's a fair distance for someone of your years. My years? You will chuck off those words, my boy! As ever, your efforts on my behalf are welcome. But I fear the Queen suspects your generosity to your friends is about enhancing your popularity at the expense of hers. If you are to erase that suspicion from her mind, your watchword must be moderation. I beg you, curb your impulsiveness. Forget your aspirations for military success. Instead, focus your energy on the Privy Council. For only there can you halt the ascendancy of Robert Cecil. When his father leaves office, there will be a power vacuum. Prove yourself equal to it, and the flower of your greatness can truly flourish. <laughs> her Majesty is detained on matters of state. She bids you wait for her in here. My lady. I thought I was to be received in the presence chamber so the whole court could see. It is but more of her damn trickery. Retire? 
To do what? Bury yourself in your estate and breed guinea fowl? I am weary, Your Majesty. I am losing what dexterity of mind and body I once had. It is time someone younger took my place. Someone being your son, Robert, I presume. Have I not groomed him for just this eventuality? He was too young for so weighty a commission. He's older than you when first you became sovereign. And you were at my side, guiding me, counselling me. Will you desert me now when I need you most? Gloriana is but a ghost in my people's memory. The young blood that surrounds me is governed only by self-interest, by ambition. They care not for the values of service and sacrifice which shaped our generation. And I am not so vain. I mistake their flattery for devotion, my lord. When you are at my side, I am invincible, William. You are the rock upon which I built my reign. And my reign is not over yet. Nor your duty to me. Your Majesty. My mother still eagerly awaits her audience. Patience is a virtue, Robbie. And virtue is its own reward. Your Majesty, they have not diminished your beauty one I have to. Is that it? It's just the first skirmish, Mother. I shall win her over yet. I swear the best part of you was left running down my legs when you were born. Antichrist of ingratitude. Duplicitous mongrel of a Frenchman. Did I not help him to his crown? Support his claim to be king? In forging an alliance with Spain, he seeks only to secure the safety of France, Your Majesty. We could do worse than follow his example. Ally with Spain, when they are trying to use Ireland as a backdoor to conquer us. Tyrone is not just another Irish renegade. He is using their support to oust us. He is their gateway to invasion. Any treaty would be conditional that King Philip ceases his support of Tyrone and his Catholic rebels. That is implicit. Without Spain's resources, Tyrone's rebellion will collapse. Our sovereignty over Ireland will be assured. Only force can accomplish that. We must mount a double offensive. Attack the Spanish colonies. Lead a military assault against Tyrone in Ireland. Boldness is the key. And who will lead such a bold campaign? I fear the question is rhetorical, my lord. Perhaps I should commend the 55th Psalm to the Earl. Bloodthirsty men will not live half their days. And those who live too long lose their grasp of the scriptures, my lord. For does not the same psalm also say that God shall cast his enemies into the pit of destruction? We will not have God used as a weapon to score points. Not in this council chamber or elsewhere. When you are nearer the end of your life than the beginning, boldness loses something of its appeal, my lord. For you are engaged in a war of a different kind. <laughs> <laughs> 